Of all the planes, trains, automobiles, trams, buses, taxis, that's the first time I got sick. All right, let's go back out, out of the restricted opened area. So if I touch some of the original cement, it's kind of slightly crumbly. So I can see why that's starting to finally give away. So to give you guys some idea, this complex is quite possibly 10 times bigger than anything I've ever seen anywhere else in the world. Trump, super, democrat, okay. I'm all way, democratia e republicanci, republicanci. Trump, super. Ha. What's in here? Part of the tower. Hey, 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 Vern. Look at this doorway here. The doorway appears to be, I'd say five foot high at the tallest. So you had to crouch down to get in. And then you have these little slits for windows. This place probably had a wooden roof at one point. And here, this is, this is different. It has bricks, a layer of bricks and a layer of rock staggered kind of throughout the wall here. So if I touch some of the original cement, it's kind of slightly crumbly. So I can see why that's starting to finally give away. But you can see all the different pieces that were used for filler in the original wall. And what were those pieces from? Were they amphora? Were they bricks? Were they a little bit of everything? Probably a little bit of everything. All right, let's go down here. Let's see what this is about. Oh, look at that tree. That thing's really old, whatever that is. It's like a walnut or something. I'm not sure. What was here? Was this, was this a Muslim shrine area? Is this an Ottoman period type thing here? Is that what this is all about? And what does that represent? That cone? That's unusual. I've never seen that. But this looks like kind of a Muslim ritual bath, so I'm gonna guess that this was like a temple in here at one point. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it was. With the baths in here. What's this all about, right? What is this all about in here? What is this preserving? Is this their temple? Was this something here? Why this deck? Well, there's an underground. Dad, I want to know what's down there, right? I want to know what's down there more than what's up here. Is that a refrigerator back in there? What is that? I don't know. So this place is really massive. And the only thing that's really left are some of the walls and some fragments alongside the, alongside the walls. Everything that was inside is pretty much just grassland now for the park. But what they built here to defend, it's incredible. Must have been really nice back in the day. So I wonder if they had their version of Tom Sawyer on the Danube the European Tom Sawyer. You can see more walls down there. This place was heavily fortified back in the day. This was a really bustling community. And they lived here for thousands of years, so. In this area, this area is dates so far back. I think they're still finding origins to early, early communities. If I get a chance, I want to go down and look at those buildings. I hadn't seen those before. Well, that's a curious little opening. Why would, why would they have that like that? Was there something going downstairs in here that's covered up? That just doesn't make a lot of sense to have that little cutaway right there. And there's a defensive position here for your wall. You can stand up there and fight through the, the openings.
Give you guys a back shot of the place. This place is massive, just freaking massive. Used to be a lot of little places gated off down below. The despot's gate. Is that your gate? Maybe that's my gate. The despot. Yeah, this is a really cool area back in here. It's just very interesting. Look at how there's pieces of wood jammed in there. Is that petrified rock or is that wood? Looks like wood. Boy, they just made do with whatever they had on hand at the time. Let's get her done and get her filled. Another one of these imposing gates. Look at that. Let's see if we can read what that is. Public observatory. What's so amazing about this castle, this fortress, is all the different positions outside and how they constructed it. The different doors, the archways, the gateways, where they would have had drawbridges. It's just so intricate. Look at that thing. That's really a shame we can't go in that tower there. Another off limits area. But why is it off limits? It was off limits, I don't know. Nice vantages through here though. Gives you a perspective of what they had to defend. Oh wow. Wow, that's real interesting back in here. Back side of a wall. What's in here? It's part of the tower. Huh. Look at that, you guys. Huh. Alright, let's go back out. Out of the restricted opened area. Yeah, if people want in, they're gonna find a way. That's kind of how people are. Look at those ledges up there. Those are pretty imposing. Oh my gosh. Just striking when you see that. Oh, that looks really wild. See the new wood? Contrasting to the rock. It's really cool. Now look at this out here, you guys. Look at how this was designed, this elaborate, intentional design. It's just wild. So you have these massive walls with this moat style thing dug out, slow the armies down. And then you had this controlled with like a bridge, a drawbridge. And they couldn't climb up to the drawbridge because it's so steep they couldn't scale that. So how do you get in there, right? I mean, look at that. It's just crazy. More off limits areas. I really wanna know what's in these places. I'd love to do like a hidden tour. Somebody had the keys to some of these places. I'll show you guys this a little bit more. This is just really well thought out. You had a guy up in there guarding this area. You had a gate with a drawbridge. Been really hard to come through this area. Really hard to come through there. What's going on in here? That place has been opened up though. That has been opened up. Hmm. There we poke our head. Places like this. That gated area, and probably a few more are all interconnected. 
you could sit up there and defend this area while looking out. But this is kind of weird. Look at that. That's like a tomb. That's somebody's tomb. That's Roman era. That is Roman era. Look at this massive stone in here. That is somebody's burial ground. And why is there only one here? Who was here, right? This was somebody really important back in the day. It's the only one here. Look at that, look at that massive stone. That's really something. Wow. I wish there was an inscription on here. Look at that, they just busted through whatever it took to get in there. Amazing. Look at these little places. There's little stairs going in there. Oh, I'd love to go in here. There had to be a cistern somewhere around here, a big cistern set up. Because I needed water. There has to be some stuff underground here connecting to a cistern or several cisterns. Well, that goes all the way back in there. Let's see where it goes. If we can pull our camera in here and see where it goes. Around somewhere out there. Oh, look at that. Then you had another gate. So they had two gates. Two walls and two gates on this side. This is crazy. You guys, this is crazy. The positions that they made to defend this place. Look at this. Just really off the hook. This was designed to slow people down from coming in. And then if that wasn't enough, you got another gate. Another gate. Give you guys a little perspective here. So those rooms that were gated off, they went inside these towers. See the windows? That's where those rooms went to. Inside of these uh, defensive position towers. Look at that. What mastermind thought this place up? This is not a simple design here. This is really thought out. Look at the layers, look at the walls, look at how much this took to build. This took centuries to perfect. Unbelievable. This is no simple task. There's an art to war in defensive positions. There's a lot to be learned in this place. Really a lot to be learned. These people spent a lot of time thinking this place up. I have to look at it for a long time to just consider what their thinking was when they put this place together. Really something else. All right, so let's go out this gate. Ah, but first let's look at this here. This looks really old in here. Yeah, and of course it's blocked off. Places I wanna go see are closed. But we can at least poke around in here and see what's here. Hello? Hello, Dougie. So we're outside another set of walls. What do we have? More walls. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? More walls, you guys. This is just unbelievable. You know, I was here once before, but I just really did not understand the scope of this place. I'm just starting to get it now. It's sinking in. How incredible this design is. Uh, I'm kind of running a loss of words here. I'm just intrigued how incredible this design was to keep this place contained and safe. Is this the final gate, the final? 
exit here. Let's look around the back side of this. Yeah, this is the final exit. All right. It's just massive in here. Just really surprising. All right, so I'm gonna go to the left in here a little bit and then possibly go down the hill. Look at those other buildings at the bottom. I didn't notice this church right here before. That's interesting. Now there is a church just outside these walls. I'd like to check out that in a minute here too. Just gotta figure out how to get down below in here. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know that was there either. That's pretty interesting, that church just built right into the side of the fortress there. All right, so let's take a look at this. So you'd stand up in here and survey your position. Make sure things were safe. Wouldn't be such a bad job, right? It's a little interesting how they've kind of used some blocks they made in a little bit of brick. A little more well thought out wall, probably a lot later. All right, so let's go down here. Hello? You go for my Baruski. Ah, American. American. Ah. American, super. Ah. Are you Serbian? You, Serbian, Serbian. Ah, nice. Very hot today. You, what will put in? Ah. Ah. President, Russia, America, Serbia. Ah. Nice. Are, are you Catholic? Okay, no problem. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's 1946. Wow, right after the war that was built. All right. Looks to be, what, Roman Catholic? Or Russian Orthodox? I think they have a hard time telling the two apart. But usually the art is kind of special. Russian Orthodox is quite colorful. I'm not sure what that guy was saying. Hopefully it was good. All right, so I did poke by here before and I made some videos. And down here, this church is known for its restorative qualities. It supposedly has a healing fountain. So it looks to be, to have been contained within the city walls back in the day. We're gonna go down here and try some of the water again. I'll show you guys. So it's interesting, the stones that they used, it's almost kind of marbleized. It's pretty cool actually. But here's the water. So this place began because of the quote healing waters. Before I mentioned something about my feet. Hopefully my feet would be healed, kind of like a runner's foot. So here's the spring right here. It's like they're starting to open up. It's time to open up. It's kind of a lovely little church. Hello? All right, this is where we're going. We're going down. We're going to look at those buildings that were down here. Get a feel for what this place is like. So it's not every day you get to experience a place this important in history, a place that connected cultures, united people, divided people. I mean, there's just so many dynamics in play in this region. It's just crazy, just crazy. The things that have happened on these grounds, if they could speak, they would just write books. I'm gonna give you guys a nice panorama. I'm coming across a really cool area. Let me show you this. I 
just love to see these old ruins. It just brings us back to the past. So many places, they only have history that's available that's a couple hundred years. And I think that's, that's like, that's a crime to have no history saved or preserved for the future. But here, there's thousands of years of things that have gone on. And people left a lot of it alone. They didn't tear it apart, use the rocks. They just left it. And we get to walk on these stones. These are probably stones dating maybe a couple thousand years. Look at that. Look at how smooth they are. They've obviously been used. Look at the ruts here. Look at the ruts. These are wagon ruts. Chariot wheels. See it? Look at that. I've never seen that. That's amazing. Wow. Just to walk on that, to feel that, to think how rough those roads were. Just incredible. Just incredible. Never been on a road like that before, you guys. What was that, right? Let's figure it out. Eastern Outer Town. Get out of town, man. I'm an Eastern Outer Town. roof on that it's just just barely there what a great park in here this is amazing these guys have wonderful parks if you get a chance come hang at the park very very great parks beautiful parks very clean very quiet just wonderful look at this thing this is just something else almost looks like it's Roman era connected to later part this looks Roman era my gosh look at that majestic gate that's insane that is really something look at that wow you know it says 1736 but it's just, it, it has like a Roman feel. When I think about the arena and the walls back in uh, uh, Duras, this is exactly the same style and feel that I got back in that area. Wow, if it was only 1700s, they sure made it look older. They sure made it look older. If that isn't repurposed or built from an earlier time, I don't know. amazing if it they built that in the 1700s to look that that dated and old I, I my hats off to them because they did an incredible job so to give you guys some idea this complex is quite possibly 10 times bigger than anything I've ever seen anywhere else in the world this place is just freaking massive to think what it took to build to hold it together to feed the population. There's gotta be a huge underground water source because this is just so massive. How did they, how did they get watered all these people? I just, I'm still trying to make sense of how this place was working because it's just on a scale I've never experienced. And to think that they made all these fortifications and thought it all out, it's just, it's mind blowing. It's just mind blowing. I can't get over it. So if you get a chance, come to Serbia. Come to this Belgrade fortress, try to get a feel of what life must have been like and why they chose this ground. It's just un, it's, I'm at a loss for words. I really am. So come check it out, you guys. I think you really love it. So we got to walk back up the hill into the fortress and back to my hostel. And it's, it's like a hundred degrees right now with hundred percent humidity and I'm wearing all black clothes. It's just going to be one of them days. One of them days. America, hmm. Trump, e Biden. Trump, Biden, <laughs> Swayzen, governor. Ah, how about you? Who do you like, Trump, Trump or? Trump, Democrat. Ah. 
both I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Biden, 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 go on. Trump, super. Democrat, okay. I'm, I'm a Democrat and Republican. Ah. Republican. Republican. Trump, super. Ah, it just seems like it's all crazy. It's all crazy. So politics know. today are, uh, I hate politics now. So you home, live, Serbia? No, on Kosovo. Kosovo, oh. I like Trump better than Biden. I like Trump better than Biden. Biden, go no. Biden lies. Bi Biden is a liar. That's why I don't. America, very cousin. Very divided. Super. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, See my you friend. Trump. Okay, take care. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> so I try not to get involved in politics. But oftentimes people will ask. So the reason that I like Trump more than Biden is because I had a business. And I'm kind of a businessman. And to me, Trump is more business. It isn't just about giving everything away for free. People have to work for things to have things to give away for free. It just isn't dropped on the earth by the magical fairy. So the people from Kosovo love Americans. I haven't been to Kosovo. It's kind of a, another subject for another day. So what I was told is that if you go visit Kosovo and try to go back into Serbia, they won't recognize it as being a a place or I, I'm not really sure how that works but there's still tension going on and it's too bad you know because what does the tension give us it gives us this shit it gives us all this crap right here all these walls all this fortress that's what all this tension gives us people fighting people hiding in fear for what for land for positioning for power it's a bunch of crap really we're all human beings we all want the same things. This fighting for the same thing over and over, it's crazy. It's just crazy. If you look at our gene pool, we're more connected than we are divided. People tend to think, oh, I'm from here, I'm from there. But you look at their genes and they're so close, so closely connected, it's ridiculous. But that's old, men, that's, that's old world thinking, trying to divide us. You know, one thing I've learned, a common thread through all my travels is that people, people are people no matter where you go, what country you have. You might have people say bad about one group of people in another area, and it just repeats on throughout history, time, and space. But in the end, they're not much different. We're all still people. It's the news and the governments that keep us more apart than anything. If everybody traveled, I guarantee you, these wars would pretty much stop. This crap would stop because people would know each other. We would learn from that. It would be a different world, it really would. As far as I'm concerned, as, as long as we keep fearing our neighbors and believing stories that everybody's so different from ourselves, we're gonna continue having places like this, defensive places for protection from people who have never met their neighbors, have never traveled over and experienced the other places. And they listen to the media and the news of the day. Oh, these people are bad. Oh, well, it must be true. You know? Deep down inside, we're all just people. We're all just people, you guys. Not much difference. Not much difference. As long as we always focus on the few things that keep us different from other people, that's what divides us. But all the things that are similar that keep us together should connect us. And those things are greater than the things that divide us, but we get to choose what we focus on. So what will you focus on today? <laughs>